tell me about your relationship with your boyfriend. Well, me and my boyfriend have been together for almost a year now. Mm -hmm. And I'm a local fashion designer, and we met at a music premiere video screening party. Yeah. And uh, I saw him looking at me from across the room. And I didn't think he was looking at me. I'm like too goofy to just notice. So uh, I did the hair flip and it seemed to work. And uh, he ended up getting my number at the end of the night and we began chatting. And then eventually we began dating after a while. Okay. So why are your family and friends concerned about it? Well, they're concerned because my mom came to visit me at one point and I was trying to reach him. And it's been hours and women, we don't like to wait at all. I know I don't. But I hadn't gotten a response from him, and my mom just saw an issue with that, and I don't see my issue with it because we're both working professionals, and we stay so busy. Do you think that your family doesn't trust your judgment? Well, in the past, I've made some bad choices in men, so yes, they, they don't trust my judgment, and I've had a lot of bad experiences, and they're really overprotective. My family is a handful. Okay, so why you want me to help you convince your family that your boyfriend's a good guy? He's an amazing guy. I mean, we're both professionals and we work all the time. He's more understanding, he's charismatic, he's charming. I mean, he's beautiful, obviously, and we look good together. Is your boyfriend here today? Unfortunately, he's not. He had a family emergency, so he had to tend to his family. Has he met your family? No, he hasn't met my family yet. Do you find that odd? No, I don't see anything wrong with it because, I mean, our schedules are pretty hectic. I'm going to tell you one thing that I do know. Mm -hmm. When a man wants you, there ain't nothing you can do to keep him away. There's nothing you can do to keep him away. There's nothing. I don't care what you say to him. He coming. <laughs> I don't care what you do. I don't care what... <laughs> Now, I'm not saying things can't come up because they can. But I got to tell you this part about us as men. When we want you, nothing. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing nobody can say to us. We, we don't care. Have you ever wanted to meet his parents or his family? Absolutely. And what happened? Some came up. Well, he just felt like it wasn't the right time just yet. He wanted to make sure we were on the right page. What does he mean by that? What does he mean by right page? He just wanted to make sure that this was a sure thing relationship. Yeah. So let me ask you this. If, if I help you with your family, you got you to gotta give, me, give me what I'm armed with. So if I sit them down and I talk to your family, Give me what I need to help you convince them. Right, I don't have enough right now. He was supposed to come here, he didn't come here. He ain't never met them, you ain't never met them. I got, I got nothing. I, I can't fight with you right now. It's hard for me to get in the hole. We ain't got no bullets. <laughs> we ain't got no bullets. I need, I need. If I'm gonna talk to your parents, what can I say to them? Because I need something. Man, the way he treats her. He treats you better than any other man has ever treated you. Can you say that? Mm, no. Okay. See, I'm just, I'm just trying to get, I need something. See, I help you. If you come to Uncle Steve, I help you. But I got to, I got to have something. You know, you understand? So, okay, he don't treat you better than any other man you've ever known. Is he the most dependable person you've ever met? No, he's not here today. Okay. Okay, see, I'm... I, what you want me to say to your mama, Neil, is what I'm trying to... <laughs> is that he deserves a second chance. He deserves a second chance. Yes. Whew. See, when you're picking a man, it's hard to pick a man because he needs a second chance. See, we ain't the court system. See, you're in a relationship. You, court systems have three strikes. You, this... All right, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to help you. Please welcome uh, Andrea's mother, Darlene, her twin brother, Andre, and her two best friends, Barbara and Tomas. 
Let, let me start with you. What is your concern? Well, my daughter's a sweet girl, and mm -hmm. she has made some wrong decisions in the past, and she really likes this guy. And I'm just concerned as a mother that I don't think this guy's supportive of her. I don't think he's good for her. She's not street smart, and I think this guy is just full of crap. And I want to know what's good. <laughs> You got a lot of drive-bys. You know what drive-bys do? They drive by, they stop, and they keep going. My daughter's not about that, and that's not gonna happen. And I wish he was here today. Yeah. Because I would address him. Okay, so Andre, let, let me move on to you. You've actually met him before. Yes, I have, Steve. Okay, so what was he like? I feel as though that he was trying to avoid me, because I tried to meet him before, but a couple of times he made excuses saying that, you know, he can't do this, or he's sick, or he had to go make an error, and, and then you don't hear from him all day. So, you know, when I first met him, I, I just... He be, he be, let me ask you, he, he be sick a lot? Yeah. Yeah, he, a lot of them. Yeah. Okay. Do you think that it was strange that he didn't try to talk to your brother? Well, we were in a rush for a dinner reservation, so I didn't see anything wrong with it at the time. Okay, Barbara, this is your best friend. Absolutely. Okay, so what has you concerned? I feel he's very secretive about things, and he's always canceling on her at the last minute on dates. Okay, so Tomas. Yes, sir. You, you're her best friend no. also. Uh -huh. What do you think about the situation? It makes me angry. You know, Andre, you're a better man than me. I got six sisters. Any one of them had that situation, it's razor blades and lemon juice time. So. Oh, okay, yeah, that's what I'm talking about, yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So... You know what I've been waiting on right yeah, we, Look, I'm originally from Atlanta, Georgia. You know, we don't oh, do that down there. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, don't yeah. All day. See, that's what I'm waiting on. It really sucks because Andrea, like Mom says, has had a past. If you could describe your takeaway of him, what would it be? I'd take him as a male op. You know, that's a new term probably for you. Like an opportunist. You know, he's always looking for the next big awesome. come up. You know, he'll cancel on her. Yep. I'll check Instagram because, you know, I'm that friend that checks the feed. You know? <laughs> Right to the ground. Yeah. Homie's out with his boys drinking, turning up. Like, he was sick. Oh, you ain't sick enough to be up at the bar, you know? Oh, he a counselor. You check him on his post oh, yeah. somewhere else. So, Andrew, do, do you hear what everybody's saying? Yes, I do. But what do you say to them, though? What, what do you say to them? Everyone makes mistakes, and he deserves a second chance. I mean, maybe he's just not <laughs> reused to this relationship thing, but... I think they should give him another shot. You just made one statement that we need to discuss. Maybe he's not used to this relationship stuff. Do you have time to teach him? Mm. No, no one has time to teach someone. You know what somebody said on the show the other day that made so much sense to me? Life is too short to have to wait on somebody to act right. Mm. What do you see yourself in five years? Oh, in five years, I see myself traveling and showcasing in Milan and Dubai and being... Really? Yes. Mm -hmm. it's, happening. it's happening. It's happening in 2019. What about aspirations for family one day? One day, I hope to have a family of my own. Mm -hmm. You see yourself traveling. You see yourself with a family. Mm -hmm. You see yourself in Milan. You see yourself uh, with the support of your family. Now, with all of this stuff that you aspire to be, do you think that this dude right here gonna have anything to do with any of them things happening? No. Do you think this guy cares or will support you to get you to Milan? Is this the guy you want to be have your kids sitting in the window waiting on because daddy said he going to take me to the park? <laughs> he ain't been to it's nothing not you've there. been at. Now, you got a baby <laughs> sitting at the house. My daddy said he taking me to the park. <laughs> you you want to be hurt. Watch your baby look yes. for their daddy yes. and he don't come through that door. Is this the guy that could fulfill your dreams? 
No. No. So why don't we do this right here? Why don't we get off this show? Why don't you come back? Let me introduce you to three nice men. Because he, you ain't got it. And the way we're going to do it is, I'm going to have your dude down there, Tomas and Barbara, help select the three guys uh, with the producer. Uh, <laughs> and then, and then, and then let's go from here. Because I promise you your mama right. I give you my word, Miss Darlene is 100% right. So if you're open, let's just do this. Because I can't convince your family that this is a good guy. Because I don't see nothing good about him. I just don't. I don't. He's not. You OK with that? Yes. Yeah. Please welcome Andrea back to the show. Andrea. So uh, you're out here alone. What happened? Well, so Uncle Steve, so listen. So now I am newly single. <laughs> and I finally took your advice. So if a man wants me, he's gonna pursue me and he's gonna chase me because I am wonderful and I'm beautiful. So. <laughs> so let me start here though. So when you left the show and went back home, what happened actually? Well, I took your advice. I was on a blocking street, block, block. I told him either you're going to choose me and introduce me to your family and treat me how you should. If not, you could just, it's no need for us to be together. So what, what, what was the one thing that you heard that really changed your mind? It was when you told me that if he wants me, he's gonna pursue me. And the fact that he didn't even wanna still introduce me to his family, it was just, that was an indication for me that it's so, time to end. So, uh, your best friend on the show, uh, the one named uh, Tomas. Tomas is here. Tomas, you there? How you yes, doing? This is, yes, Tomas sir. is here to represent the family. Tomas, this is, this is Razor Blade and Lemonade, y'all. Uh, Tomas, <laughs> how, how do you and the family, you and the family feel about this relationship development? It's great. I mean, we finally got, our, got our, our sister, our friend back. You know, we just had family uh, outing night. We went and had uh, some drinks and uh, did uh, karaoke, so it's good to have her back to herself and have her happy, you know. Got to lose that dead weight. So, Tomas, let me ask you this. Well, what kind of guy do you hope Andrea ends up with? To be honest with you, she needs somebody patient. Somebody who's not going to be there just for the victory lap, but who can be there for the entire marathon. You know what I'm saying? Tomas, as a matter of fact, you bought a little surprise for Andrea today. Oh, yeah. What is it? We got you a man. Do you want to meet him? Of course, of course. All right, Sheldon, come on out. Hey, Sheldon, what's up with you? Good to see you. Yeah. <sighs> About six five, <laughs> strong. You know, you ain't even stand up and say hello. You know, you just. <laughs> you know, but you did just touch his leg. That's a good sign. <laughs> uh, you've actually met him before. Do you remember? Yes, we've met before. Um... <laughs> At a charity event. At a charity event. Mm -hmm. See, so let me watch this. Let me show you how this works. So, Sheldon, yes, after sir. you met Andrea, you tried to get her number. What happened? Yeah, she had a situation at that time. She was in her relationship. So, you know, I just kind of fell back. And I uh, figured I may see her again. Well, here we are. <laughs> <laughs> Tomas, what is it that you thought was good about Sheldon? Well, you know, she needs somebody who's going to, of course, have the looks, you know. And plus, he's from the South, just like me. You know, the best man come from the South, as you know. Yeah. So, you know. Country boys rock. Amen. 
Yeah. You know? So, yeah, she's, I, I met the dude several times. Very patient, very uh, about his business, you know? So that's exactly what Andrea needs. Do you understand what, how this actually came about, Andrea? Yes, I do. So my family did not like the guy that I was with and that I broke up with. And simply because he was just a dog. He was a dog. I caught him in an act with another person and it confirmed their suspicions yeah. after we broke up. And it turned out they were dating for six months and I was with them for almost a year. Well, you know, you're sitting next to what's called new opportunity. Yeah. <laughs> now, Andrea, I'm going to send you and Sheldon out on a date to get to know each other to one of our favorite date spots, uh, Buca de Pepo. Nice. And uh, how's that sound? Great. Sounds amazing. So just go out. Get to know him, see what he's like. You know, you never know. Could be a friend, could be a connection. We don't know. We're going to keep y'all posted on how this uh, matchup works out. And I hope y'all have a nice time. We'll be right back, everybody. Hey, you made it to the end of this video. I got a lot more that you're going to enjoy, so just click to watch the next one. And make sure you subscribe to always know what's happening.